Army's first game was with South Carolina, a team which surprised by defeating Duke the previous week. The skies were dark for the cadets, though. A driving rain favored South Carolina's power running. Boded no good for the open game Blake had promised for the cadets. But after a wobbly start, Army got underway. That's Harry Walters carrying. Short of a touchdown, but Walters on the next play goes the rest of the way. Army's reserves looked better than Blake had anticipated. Gil Ressler makes a big gain. Now Bob Rudisill fires a pass to Steve Waldrop for 16 yards. The second unit rams across. Waldrop scores the touchdown. The big news was the lonesome end formation introduced by Blake. Anderson and Dawkins collaborating on this pass, but Bill Carpenter, Lonesome George himself, kept the Gamecocks worried all day. Dawkins was superb. On the rain-soaked, sloppy field, he scored four touchdowns, 26 yards on this one. South Carolina played a spunky game, but was just no match for the cadets. Here's King Dixon making a fighting kickoff return, only to fumble when Army's pile-driving tacklers hit him. Here's Anderson's running option pass to Dawkins for another score. It rained all right. Army touchdowns. West Point 45, South Carolina 8. The sun shone the next week when Penn State kicked off to Army after crushing Penn under a top-heavy score the week before. Army went right to work. Harry Walters pounds out 12 yards. Captain Dawkins spins off the left side for 14 more. Now that Anderson to Dawkins pass that works so well against South Carolina puts the ball close to the Penn State goal. Anderson bores in for a short gain. And Pete Dawkins lugs it home. Army scores the first time it gets the ball. After the next kickoff, State fumbled to Bill Rao recovered for Army. One of the seat time, it was Dawkins jamming it close to the goal line. And Bob Anderson carries over for the touchdown. By this time, the whole nation was talking about Army's lonely end, who never came near the huddle, getting his signal by some mysterious method. Here he is taking another pass from Caldwell, carrying on for a 55-yard touchdown. Army's defense was another pleasant surprise. The cadets yielded ground grudgingly. State constantly had to punt. But the Nittany Lions never knew where Army would strike next. Caldwell's pitch to Dawkins and the latter's sensational gallop to the goal produced a spectacular 72-yard score. Army rolled up four first-half touchdowns, stayed under wraps in the second half, won 26 to nothing. <laughs> 